Welcome back to another episode of the Graf Show Podcast. Got two very special guests and a live audience. Let's go, audience! Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Eating it up. And to my left, played here at Montana, and now plays overseas in France. Yes, it was it Spain, right? Spain first. And Spain first, then France. France, France we'll get into that. And the yeah. other one, big man Mac, center for the Montana Grizzlies, big boy, <laughs> senior, which is crazy. Crazy. Mac Anderson, Kendall Manuel. Appreciate you guys coming Yes, sir. On, Appreciate you, man. So how'd you guys me. get to Montana, like University of Montana? Were you guys born and raised here too, or what? Um, I mean, I'll, I'll go first. So yeah. I was born in Billings, mm. uh, Montana, grew up there and everything, and... Uh, Originally went to Oregon State first, yeah. and then ended up transferring here. So that's how I kind of ended up getting back to Montana and everything. What made you leave Oregon State and come come back here? Just the- uh, just just a better opportunity as far as my role on the team, because uh, I knew what my goals were, uh, yeah. trying to get to the next level and be mm-hmm. a professional and all that stuff. And so, uh, get getting the opportunity to you know shine was really what I was looking for. And yeah. Montana was like, yeah, we're going to rock with you and we'll let Damn. you do your thing. So, That's dope. Yeah. Damn. Mm-hmm. What about you? Um, I was born in Fort Collins, Colorado, but I moved to Bozeman when I was pretty young. So grew up here in Montana. And, yeah, obviously Montana State's there. Um, but in high school, I was really under-recruited. Like, under-recruited. I didn't have anything going into my senior year. And then uh, that summer... Uh, it was really like Montana State here and yeah. uh, Air Force were the main schools. And I kind of wanted to get out of Bozeman, and they just had... Good choice. I liked what they Smart had going man. on here. <laughs> yeah. Smart, yeah. Yeah. Smart <laughs> so, I mean, I didn't transfer anything. It's been good three years going nice, on four dude. It's crazy, bro. Sir. Yeah. Yeah. Bro. Getting old. How did you guys meet, and how did you guys get so close? I'll um, let him go first. Yeah. Did you guys so, always hang out in basketball and stuff like that? Well, yeah, like, like being on the team, you're all together all the time. I think like the where we like really like got close and kind of like really got to know each other, we drove to Bozeman one time. Um mm. for like I don't know why. I was going home. I don't know what you I, were doing. I, I, I don't remember yeah, either. But just on the drive, because like when you're with the team and everything, it's like the whole team dynamic, mm. obviously, like you get close with them. Um, but then that drive, I don't know, it was it, it like just kind of like hit it off or yeah. like it's, it's cool. Yeah. And then we just started hanging out a lot more after that. I feel like when it's a one on one drive like that, what is it, four yeah. hours, three hours, you got to make like it. Yeah, and you'll sure. know yeah. everything about it exactly. by the end yeah. of the day. Yeah. And <laughs> the funny thing, too, actually, uh, so Mac was back in high school actually and i was at oregon state it might have oh, been my yeah. first year <laughs> second year something like that and like at oregon state it's a nike school elite school so you get um a bunch of shoes bunch of gear and i yeah. was trying to just give away a bunch of shoes mm-hmm. and mac uh had actually hit me up and was like hey like i'll take a pair of one of your shoes <laughs> and he was in high school and i was like all right man like i got you i'll all hook right, you little up bro like yeah, that's cool yeah, yeah. No, I'll, really I'll, though yeah now, i'll plug you with some of my shoes and uh so i actually got got him a pair of some hyper dunks that we had at oregon Damn. state and i don't know if you have them you still have them? Uh, uh, I think probably got rid of them no but, yeah. i think they're probably still in those <laughs> but yeah so like that's like our first like real initial you know, getting to meet each other and everything, and but then, then yeah, at the uh, Montana Wyoming All Star Game yo, too. It's yo, in Billings, yo. and he came and practiced with us too. Yeah, I was wow. practicing yeah. with them. So Damn. yeah, it was a good, good little time. And like you said, you know, that drive we kind of connected and everything, and then yeah. became roommates and everything. So it's everything's been going well since. Then you guys got to play together and win a championship too. Yeah, yeah. talk about that. I mean, March Madness and stuff like that's crazy. Man, it was a great time, bro. Um, I mean, it was cool. Like, my role with that team was a lot different. Um, I was a freshman. We had five yeah. seniors, all really high-level players. Yeah. And then everyone above me, too, was really talented as well. Yeah. So, like, going into that, I didn't really know, like, if I was going to play or anything. But just, like, being a part of a group like that, it's mm-hmm. a really special thing. Yeah. Um, and especially here, like, it's really, like, a big family. And then be able to mm-hmm. win, sure. like, that was a great experience. Yeah. 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 And and like he said, you know, like it, it, was, it was a whole family. Yeah. Even though he was a freshman, even though we were all junior, senior, whatever it may be, like we all were connected, and it was a real, you know, family or, or uh, family oriented team, you know. So it, it was a good time. I could tell the basketball program's like on the rise here and stuff. For sure, at least since mm-hmm. since I've been here. For sure. Yeah. But, uh, another question: is, Why is the state of Montana so underrated? Like, why do people? 
<laughs> hate on Montana. People are always like, oh, they don't watch TV. Oh, they <laughs> ride horses. They're, yeah, they're, yeah, they're, they're, cousin, yeah. they're cousin fuckers. Like, yeah. shit like that is what I've heard once yeah. I've got yeah. you. <laughs> no, I think uh, Montana gets that reputation mainly because as far as like being underrated and everything, yeah. um, because we don't have that many people here in the first yeah. place. We have maybe like a little bit over a million people in the yeah. whole state and some cities have that, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Phoenix is like 7 million. Yeah, yeah. you see, so yeah. it's not like, it's not easy to come to Montana and recruit and expect a bunch of players to be high level players. And yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because you have a limited amount of people to really pick from. So yeah. there's a very select few that end up making it and yeah. being high level players. And so, when you say underrated, I think that's why is because we just don't have the same amount of population as a, a lot of these bigger states. So yeah. that's I mean, my big thing. Everyone just leave Montana. Don't come to Montana. Right? Right? Hey, I'm cool zombie with that. I'm zombie cool apocalypse. So war comes, bro. <laughs> yeah. Just come to Montana. Yeah. Be I want to talk to you, Matt. How how do you feel about this upcoming season? And you, Kendall, just as an outsider. Yeah. Like, how do you feel about the season for Montana? Um, I'm really excited. I, li I really like the group that we have coming back. Um, last year was kind of crazy, mm. the COVID stuff. Yeah. Um, had some guys leave throughout the yeah, year. It was like a lot to deal with. Yeah, like you didn't leave your apartment for the whole school year, really. Mm, yeah. Um, and I mean, it sucked, but like moving on from that, the group that we're bringing back and some of the guys that we brought in, I think we'll be solid, and I really like yeah what we have coming back. Yeah, me. everyone from last year came back. Everyone right? that that was on the team. That was on the, the team. The yeah. yeah, yeah. And me being around these guys this whole summer, like I I've noticed because I watched obviously some of their games last mm -hmm. year and everything, and it was a really young team. Like yeah. he was even telling me like some days at practice they'd have five guys that were on the starting team and then five guys as a scout team, and like it might switch the next week, but like you just had to play your role, you know. And yeah. so like. I think just that whole experience of them all being able to share the court together and everything, and it was a young team, but them all coming back, it's just going to help them in this future, and uh, they'll be able to develop and make something special. So, Who do you think is going to have a good year this year? Mac. That's why I to ask you. Yeah, Mac. Uh, honestly, all the guys, you know, it's, yeah. they've been working their ass off this whole summer. It's been, as far as what the coaches have told me and, and what I've seen, they've, They've really been grinding and making it happen, so mm. I'm excited to see what what develops from this. Have you got any NIL deals or anything like that too? Because I know NIL. I gotta ask everyone. Yeah. No. Yeah. I know. That's what everyone's asking yeah. right now. Um, Barstool athlete. <laughs> <laughs> got, yeah. We got another one in your Barstool <laughs> athlete too. Shout out everyone. Um, no, I haven't done anything like with the social media stuff. Um, yeah. Like I've have, I've have like a good amount of followers, but like nothing crazy on social mm. media. Um, what I've been really intrigued about with it is like local stuff. Mm. Um, I think there's some cool stuff that we could work out there, just with local businesses and like being yeah. from Montana. Um, so I definitely want to try and kind of tap into that whole side of it. Mm. I think it's different from what everyone else is doing too, which is yeah. cool. Hey, all I know is. Uh, I wish I was a student yeah. athlete. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, Man. especially being from Montana. Who would who would who would you want to get right now locally, and then who would you have have done locally, either Missoula or Montana or whatever? Yeah, I mean it's like kind of difficult because it can't. It's like the whole like drinking side of it is different yeah. but like like st like stocks or like reds like those mm -hmm. are like big like i feel like those are the most like well-known <laughs> local businesses here yeah um so i don't know maybe something with like dobies and like That'd have like be a meetup before football games or yeah. something like that just like little stuff like that would be mm -hmm. cool i think i'd try to be on like car dealership yeah. commercial and then build, yeah, like build on everything that, I, yeah. I would work yeah. on yeah everything literally. sammy's friend from oklahoma state <laughs> got sponsored by a car dealership and he gets to drive around like a, i think it's a ferrari for a whole year <laughs> <laughs> something like that you see? Bro, yeah. something crazy. You know, like, crazy and then there's someone else i forget what teammate told me this um his, his friend or whatever from his old school got sponsored by trojan condoms wow <laughs> <laughs> Trojan <Active>. condoms, bro. <laughs> active. active. Wow. Active. Boy, he's active. Hell of a guy, huh? <laughs> I know. Uh, transition that you can. I know 2020 was a shit show for you. I mean, yeah, like, yeah. talk about that. I mean, you guys, the season got canceled. I mean, you guys were like, that team was really good, too. Hell and of a sound first. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But that as well. And then how did uh, the opportunity for you in Spain happen? Like, how does that how does that work for us? Um, so to touch on like I had like eight questions. That's my yeah. No, I like <laughs> gotta break it down. Uh, no, but to first touch on like the 2020 stuff. Uh, it was tough, man. It's your mm -hmm. senior year, and I was telling some of the younger guys because they were like, "How did that happen with your senior year and all that?" And uh, 
like literally we're we're in the tunnel about to go to shoot around for our game at, in Boise at the tournament yeah and we're sitting there got our shoes on you know what I'm saying the court's right there you can see it like we're about to play that day and all of a sudden Trav's phone rings and he's like okay yeah sounds good and like all of a sudden like in the back of my mind I'm like yeah like our season's canceled because yeah. first you heard I, like yeah. Rudy Gobert and then you heard like this yeah. tournament's canceled and that tournament's SEC, canceled. Yeah, like, Ten, yeah. It was so, like you could feel it coming almost. Yeah. Like that morning before the shoot around. We were just like, we're waiting we're like, for the yeah, call kind of. Yeah. Yeah. And so we're, like I said, we're at shoot around, like about to go make this happen senior year. And then all of a sudden Trav says that and like my, obviously like I'm a senior, my heart dropped, man. Yeah. Like I'm just like, man, like this is how I'm going out. Like I didn't That's even crazy. get a chance to go out and like, have a tournament have the opportunity to even go to march madness again you know what i'm saying like so that part was tough trav's like get on the bus like we're just gonna go back to the hotel and uh season's over you know what i'm saying one one thing to touch on that is i feel like the big sky like i'm not saying that wasn't a bad, bad yeah, decision, yeah. decision but like low-key if you guys were the only conference to play i mean you would have been national champions well, true. Yeah. technically yeah. like you would have yeah, been, na- been, yeah, been yeah, natty yeah. so sure. really, like the last conference to cancel it yeah too. yeah, yeah. yeah. First That's national funny. champion, they could have got that, you know what I mean? I, technically, I guess, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, so to go from there, uh, like you said, senior years canceled and everything. Um, then to transition from there to try to go pro and everything. We typically, mm-hmm. like, if you're, you know, on the radar and everything, you would have summer league you would have nba workouts and everything leading up to pre-draft stuff yeah no, um none and of that we happened. had none of that That's we didn't crazy. get we didn't get any opportunities what we did have i i had some interviews with nba teams like over zoom calls obviously because you can't meet in person yeah um so you just you go on zoom got to dress up a little bit have a little have some meetings wear like and, a tux but like underwear. yeah but on, <laughs> underneath you got shorts like you're playing it off that's funny um, but yeah, so so we did that whole thing, went through that process. Teams said what they had to say. Oh, we like you, da da da. You know, what I'm saying how it goes. Um, what what teams did you? Can you leak any of the teams? Maybe, um, maybe one. One. Uh, one. Utah. Ah. Utah Jazz. I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll leak. I'll leak that. Okay, leak um, one. Leak one. Um, but yeah, from there after that, it was just like okay, so there's not going to be a G League season, so mm. there's no need for me to try to sit around and try to pursue that yeah. and try to keep doing the nba thing so mm-hmm. it's like all right let's let's go to europe let's figure this yeah. out and from there uh i went i went in like you said before went to spain and everything and uh had, had a good season and everything and ended up liking the situation it was mm-hmm. tough at the same time though um you're you're overseas and it's a little more strict in Europe than it is really? being in Montana. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? You're, over there, we went to practice, you know what I'm saying? And then after that, came back and you're home. You're pretty much on lockdown. Mm. And after that, you go to another practice and come right yeah. back home and you can't really leave. You know what I'm saying? Damn. So it's, it's tough. And being on your own, you don't have anybody else to connect with or mm. being being in touch. You're nine hours ahead time zone. Yeah. <laughs> so you can't call nobody, you know, like <laughs> you're really just stuck yeah. on your own. But like it, it helped me grow as a person. And it was it was a good time. Did you reach out to them or did how did they come in contact with you? To My agent uh, okay. is actually how, how that got set up. I had a, I have an agent that obviously That's is nice. connected. In your, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. You pretty much sign with someone and rely on them to kind of mm-hmm. push your career forward and, and so that's how it all happened man. what was the what's the hardest part about what's the hardest part about playing in europe is it the language barrier like do you have to learn some spanish and stuff like that uh, my my country in Portu- in uh, mozambique speaks portuguese um so okay. that's kind of similar to spanish in a mm-hmm. way um and so i i picked up on spanish i was able to speak it a little bit more uh by the end of my yeah. my, my trip and everything and then uh, but like you said the hardest thing was probably just like the whole lockdown like because yeah. you're in europe you're like wow i'm finally i'm able to travel i get to do yeah. all this but like you can't you're going to practice <laughs> and you're coming back home like you can't Damn. leave your house you can't go and explore and see what you want because uh-huh. there's a curfew you know what i'm saying yeah. so that was probably the hardest part from from the whole deal is like do they give you food or what how did that so we had a restaurant that we could go and pick up the food from yeah and like you could either like leave your house twice and go pick it up or just pick it up for your breakfast and like mm-hmm. say i'll heat up my lunch and my dinner yeah and so that's what we did mm-hmm. um i just would go go to the restaurant pick up the food and take it back to the house yeah. and call it good Damn. so yeah would you guys facetime all the time and stuff or how'd you guys 
we did times. now and then but it yeah. wasn't like uh continuous like yeah. we weren't we weren't always staying in contact because he's yeah. busy too you know yeah. and like i said the whole time zone it's hard to like catch the perfect time to yeah. really but it's one it's one of those friendships it's like me me and josh egbo it's like whenever we see each other it's like yeah yeah never left, like you, you didn't know? yeah i don't know like snapchat and yeah snapchat. last That's, year was so weird though in general just like not seeing people at all yeah um you guys were i remember like during your guys' basketball season and stuff we would we, we would rarely see you guys like yeah never we, i was like when i these said guys we didn't on the european apartment. shit like i literally didn't leave <laughs> like i worked apartment. i worked camera for one of the games or whatever and you waved yeah. at me in warm up i was like I was, whoa <laughs> it's like i haven't seen you in like three months yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all were really locked down. I mean, oh yeah, we didn't do anything. And like the me, one, honestly. literally the one time we did anything, um, it was in the fall, like before the season even started. Mm-hmm. Um, it was Freddie's twenty first birthday, and we were like, <laughs> "All right, like we have to hang out, like yeah. <laughs> we have to do something." And uh, I mean, we didn't have anybody else there. It was just our team, and yeah. then there was like three girlfriends there, like probably mm-hmm. like fifteen people total. Yeah, which probably like looking back we shouldn't have done it obviously like, with the pro- <laughs> like and but it, like i said no it, was, got COVID, it was before though, the season yeah. it was in july oh okay, so like yeah you. so like it was in the summer we were like let's it'll be okay whatever and then the, it was on a saturday night the next sunday around like 10 o'clock i got a call and they were like you <laughs> tested positive for covid uh it's so we all like that was the only time we did anything and then we got yeah. caught right away so it was like mm. the rest of the year i was like we're not and gonna yeah the coaches were not it. too yeah. happy yeah dude i didn't know you had your own wikipedia oh my goodness. <laughs> and i that's saw this that, i don't know if it's true are you the nephew of nelson nelson mandela yeah you actually are yeah that's my great uncle like it might be great so great, or great great nephew uncle. or whatever I'm the great nephew, but okay, yeah, okay. yeah. Well, he's the. I didn't realize he was nephew. the first my, president of South Africa. Yeah, which. my. Uh, so my dad's aunt is Grasa <laughs> Michelle. Um, she used to be married to Samora Michelle. He was the president of Mozambique, mm-hmm. and then she got married to Nelson Mandela after. Um, wow. Yeah, and so have you met him through marriage? I haven't, but my dad has, mm-hmm. and I can relay some some pictures for you if you That's want crazy. even. But yeah, yeah. So, little. Fun fact, but I don't. I didn't I don't know throw, that either. I don't. Throw, I, know, I, I saw it. No I saw it on Wikipedia. Yeah. I was like, no way, I can't be real. <laughs> no, that that's something I, I like to push under the rug. I don't. I don't tell anybody. Yeah, and and the same with the Wikipedia. Thanks I did the research. I did the research. Blast. I did the research. Yeah, but <laughs> now, now everybody knows. So <laughs> that's thanks, <funny>. guys. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna get to our first segment, which is called <laughs> "Down in the DMs." People DM you guys. Oh Lord. So oh. questions. Mm-hmm. But they, well, I got two questions, but you got 17, so. <laughs> you only had two. Yeah, I only had two. I know. One of them's in the room, but I, I, this is not on here. But what's, what's the biggest stereotype of, like, a basketball player? And hey, what do you think mm. in college? Like, from, from a girl's perspective, what's the biggest from stereotype? From a girl's, a girl's perspective? perspective? Yeah. I would say, like, the whole, I don't know. Like, I think that basketball players kind of get a bad look. Yeah. I Football. honestly yeah. think. Yeah. From a girl, I don't know for sure. Obviously, I want to hear like, Serena's input. From a, from, a, from a girl's perspective, I feel like they might think basketball players are standoffish and mm. kind of like not so, not dickheads, but like we're we kind of just do our own thing. Yeah, keep you know to yourself like, a little bit. Like that, that's like at some like, parties too, though. It's not you guys, but like some other basketball yeah. players will be like in the corner. Yeah, just like exactly. Like up. like yeah. don't and and I think it comes off as like we don't give people the time of the day mm. or something like that but it's yeah. not it's not necessarily that it's just like we're just chill like very yeah. like low key you know what i'm saying like yeah, just yeah, just yeah. don't really a lot of people don't even really like like going to parties honestly yeah mm-hmm. just like there. it's just like the yeah i don't know <laughs> nothing else to yeah. do so it's yeah. like <laughs> yeah, social why not yeah, yeah grace fisher said to grow a six stash so you you both have kind of stashes. Just trying to look like you, bro. Yeah, you gotta you gotta diet. diet. I'm telling you, bro. You diet. diet. This I gotta read diet, but um, you can get it at like Walmart or whatever. Uh-huh. Five minutes. I've done bro, it before. You put it on your, bro, Ryan Simpson put minutes. me on. Has, has he put me steps. on too. <laughs> bro, I'm telling you. I think it's just stashes. Shout out there. to him, man. <laughs> Shout out. Um, to do, do, do stocks. Mom says talk about life after college. She's the best. Kendall, um, so I mean, that would have to be me yeah. then, because this guy's not, not there out of college. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Life after college, I mean, it's a grind. It's everyday grind, mm-hmm. you know. Like 
you don't obviously have the perks of someone laying out your plan every single day like this is what you're gonna do you're gonna go to this class and then this this is the timeline of what you're yeah. you know what i'm saying so um it's a grind but like at the same time it's very like uh it's very nice you have freedom mm-hmm. especially from my perspective like i i really just have to work out throughout the summer and then be ready for my season so yeah. like it's nice to have that freedom and i definitely do not take it for granted <laughs> uh jt.neely asks God. what are on your guys's pre-game playlist to miss, miss you boys so he misses you i miss jt yeah that's one of the guys honestly for me i like to i like to listen to like like R and B, like reg- like soft stuff, you know, like mm-hmm. reggae, like just to yeah, calm yeah. me down, like relax, like yeah. get me, cause I I don't know, a lot of people are like always just juiced up, like mm-hmm. let's go, let's, yeah, but like I feel that's like. not me. I'm I'm like chilling and laid back and trying to just really like lock in mentally. So I'm not, yeah. I don't want to be all juiced up, like ready, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. So I, I listen to a lot of R and B, reggae type stuff when I'm pregame. So what about what about you? Um, I I don't do that. Um, I think that's like a good idea. <laughs> I do not do that. <laughs> Thanks, bro. I, honestly, like pulling up to games, I'll like have my headphones in. Sometimes I'm not even listening to music, and just like ha- like I'll just have them in, you know, yeah, just so to kind of like talk to in. Yeah, because I don't like talking to people before bro. games yeah. and stuff. Um, I'm not complete. I don't know though. I like getting a little juice. Like what we have played in the arena usually does the trick. But yeah. yeah. I used to listen to classical music before. Really? Games. You see? Yeah. Some like, like same thing as classical him, huh? music. Yeah. yeah. Some That's just cool. chill, you know. Don't don't I for me it's like we can say all this rah rah, like get hyped yeah. and shit, but then all of a sudden everybody's quiet again and it's like Yeah. <laughs> fuck what were we doing that for? <laughs> <laughs> like, come on. Like, Might as well just say chill the whole time. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. Reasons. And then turn up once the game's Why do basketball players walk like that? Oh, that's my guy, Fritz. <laughs> Bro, he <laughs> always makes fun of me for this. It's like the little, like, limb. Basketball you know, players yeah, have that like, walk. Yeah, 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 you know yeah, what he's talking about. Yeah. Dragging your view. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I don't know. Well, it's also really funny. Over quarantine, I was in Bozeman. He's one of my friends from growing up. Yeah. Um, and he was, like, giving me shit for that, like, the second I saw him. And literally the next day, I was working out with my friends from back home, and they did some crazy leg workout. <laughs> And I did it with them, and I, like, literally couldn't walk the yeah. next day. Mm. And I was hanging out with him, and, like, he's always just said that every time I see him now. <laughs> but I don't know. It's always, like, a rhythm, too. Legs are always walk, hurt, kind of, yeah. yeah. You just walk it. Yeah. yeah. You just got, I don't know. <laughs> just, just a stroll. Yeah. That's funny. I'll, I'll, I'll do one. Actually, this one's funny. Saeed Pridget said bitches. That's <laughs> <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> SP4, this is on you, bro. Bitches. Yeah. <laughs> you, just said bitch. wow. you probably didn't think he was going to get put hey, out. Oh, first off, we respect women over here. Yeah, 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 I'll yeah, put yeah. that Don't out call there. Yeah, yeah. We are not saying any women B-word. are the B words. I, I was just reading the question. I was just reading the <laughs> that question. is all from SP4, not us. <laughs> okay. Last one for this segment it says, What is your type of woman? What do you look for? Who asked that? Um, I got to pull it up. I got to pull it up. Uh. I'm like, uh, no one did. I just is my question. <laughs> uh, Max O F Jelly, Max of Jelly. Type of woman. For me, I mean, personally, I don't necessarily have like a. This is my type of woman. I feel like, mm. I don't know. All women, to me, uniquely have their own like thing that they bring to the table, and it's yeah. like just if it clicks with you and what you're feeling at that time and whatever mm. and that's that's just how i go about it i don't necessarily say like oh this is like i need this type of girl or like it's a done deal like it's just like like i said like they all bring something to the table and Mm -hmm. uh if you vibe with it you vibe with it if not that's just what it is that's good oh you're open to it you're not super strict on like yeah yeah i mean (laughs) i feel like that's how everyone should be but that's rare most guys are not like well i feel like i don't know like i feel like most guys do have like a as much as like that's great like yeah i agree with yeah. you yeah. but i feel like everyone kind of has like a type of woman. yeah or yeah not you know. i brother not, not you I. yeah and i, I, I not. yeah <laughs> Max, i get it yeah. Yeah. max like but i i don't know i feel like most people that know me like know my type i don't know i don't really ha- i don't know i don't want to say i have a type 
Like you I, just like, said, yeah. most well, guys have a type. So I mean, well, I'll like, admit, like, like I like, general, I like blondes. Like, yeah, I like blondes, I like blondes yeah. as well. Like for sure. But am I gonna like base it on their exactly. color? Exactly. No. Exactly. But would I prefer blonde over someone else? If for I had a sure. One? Yeah. For sure. You That's guys. what I was trying to say. I mean, my, my, I, have, I have three. I have three C's personally. It's it's cute, confident, and then it's not a C, but it's sense of humor, which starts with yeah. S. I think that's exactly those are, those what you need. Yeah, three. It's yeah. not like super tight, so, picky. So it's but not picky, but it's like yeah, it's like yeah. general like okay. qualities that you want to see. Mm. Honestly, just being able to have a conversation. A lot of girls yeah. can't like talk. That's yeah. facts. It's yeah. true. Uh, true. I don't know. A lot of but guys can't like, like, but it's just mm. how it is. Like when you're trying to like have a conversation with someone yeah. and they can't. I'll tell you what I don't like. You. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what I don't like. <laughs> There's so many like cute girls out there that are just like, duh. Yeah. <laughs> if that makes sense. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. like that's what I, I I'm like, yeah. baby, you're beautiful, you know, but yeah. at the same time. This ain't this ain't. This cute, this you're like, there's about. something, need, there's something about you that's just wrong, and yeah, then you have a conversation yeah. with them, and you're like, yep. Yeah, like I, I can't be talking to you, and you're just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah you know, like, <laughs> like I, that's that's Stop. just not. I can't do that. I can't. So that's what I'll tell you. I don't like. <laughs> that's hilarious. Have you had any of those encounters when you were here in Missoula? In Missoula, I mean. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. 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 These, I mean, you, sorry, you, some of these females in Missoula are kind of crazy. For sure. Since I've been here, there's there's a lot of cool women, but there's yeah, some crazy yeah. girls. Definitely. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Like, you could be at a party and you definitely run into someone like that, or yeah. you could be downtown running some, yeah, you know? Yeah, so, yeah, like, yeah. there's definitely, like I said, those types of, but there's all types of women at, at the same time mm -hmm. that you end up encountering. So, I got you. Yeah. Uh, do you guys have any secret talents? Um, I play the drums. Interesting. Very you still do? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I can jam, man. How'd you get into that? <laughs> Honestly, it started like through like, like fifth and sixth grade. You know, you they make you take Damn. those fucking music classes. <laughs> you know all that. Yeah, yeah, and so, yeah, and yeah, since yeah. then, it was just like something that I've always like vibed with. And like, I don't know, it's another way to escape and like get your mind right. If you just for me at least like I've, I've always been able to just go jam a little bit and so that's that's a little secret talent when's the last yeah, time you okay. played the drums bro honestly whenever the band has the drum set out before games because really? i'm like you'll go up i'm always like one of the first ones at the gym yeah that's me, me and saeed are always one of the first ones and i'll just go up there just <laughs> fuck around that's for a sick bit. that'd yeah. be sick if you did that like right before like every, yeah. all the people went on the on the court or something. Just me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. Funny. So that like, whenever the band has it set up or whatever, yeah. they probably don't know their drum sticks are probably chipped up a little mm -hmm. bit. What about you? Got any? Um, on the music thing, I used. I mean, I I haven't played in a while, but I was pretty good at the saxophone. Um, Interesting. I actually, see. when Kendall came to Bozeman to play his <laughs> yes. senior year, <laughs> I was in the band, in the pep band, playing the sax. Your tall ass was in a, a mm -hmm. band. Me while, and while one of my I was teammates my on the court. Year. Yeah, it was like our high in, yeah. high in high school. Yeah, yeah. I was in the band. He was in the band. Uh huh. You weren't on the team. No, well, no. There's like five teams at the high school in Bozeman, and I wasn't really like that good. I didn't really like basketball yeah. like that until like my junior year. You like band? So I like <laughs> no. I like that's the other talent that I like really feel confident saying is soccer. I'm nice at soccer. Really? Yeah. Okay. okay. You got the footwork and everything. Absolutely. Too. I dog. wanted. Yeah, I like wanted to quit basketball and play soccer. Yeah. In what high uh, six, what, ten what girls? What girl soccer player on our team right now would you challenge to soccer? Everyone. Oh, any? Yeah. Come on, come, come see me. Apply go pressure. Go compete. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's do uh, it. Not running from nothing. <laughs> That's funny. Next one. Uh, what is your biggest red flag when you meet someone in college? Mm. Male, female? Like, what are we talking? Let's go. In general? Let's go both. Just in general. For me, I guess. I don't know. I my big thing is like I like to know what people's intentions are. I guess. Yeah. So like. If some dude's coming up to me like, hey, bro, like, oh, my God, let's take a fucking picture. Yeah. Uh, like, you know, yeah, like, you're like, okay, like, fanboy, not like, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, 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 I agree. That's with something that I'm like, I'm not I'm not messing with that. Yeah. Um, You, you can go. Ahead. Well, I was just going to say you meet a lot of random people. Here. Yeah. Like yeah. and like mm -hmm. it's that exact interaction that he just said where yeah. it's like, you know, 
you're never going to talk to them again. Like, yeah. like if someone like approaches you like that, like, it's just like, you're like, Oh yeah. Like you, like, yeah, you definitely thing, appreciate and then, like, it, respect yeah. it. Like, it's not like we're, we're hating on it or nothing. It's just like, come on, bro. Like yeah. I'm the same age as you. Like you yeah. don't have to, I'm <laughs> not, you're, you're <laughs> older than me. Yeah. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, it's not that special. Like mm -hmm. we're, I play basketball, but it's at the same time, I'm still a human being. I'm still like, another person i don't yeah you don't have to be all oh my god exactly. yeah you know, that like, one, I don't know and when people are just like ridiculously like standoffish <laughs> standoffish i was mm. also gonna say like really like out there like really like fucked up like you oh, need a yeah. lot of like yeah crackheads yeah just when you're like even if it's like in the middle of the day people will like be off their rocker and just like come say what's oh up. Oh my yeah. god, like yeah. hey, bro, you're so yeah. cute. Yeah. Like, like, you play like, basketball? Yeah, like, oh, oh my god. god, I've always liked basketball. Like, <laughs> yeah. I hate that. What position do you play? Yeah. Center? Yeah. What is the center yeah. doing? Exactly. Uh. exactly. My <laughs> uncle used to play basketball. Yeah, like, it's yeah, like, yeah. dude, <laughs> care. I don't care. I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> the DMs. Are you in the DMs or are you out of the DMs? I'm not in the DMs. You ever slid in the DMs before? I don't slide in DMs. Kendall? Yes. Yes? Yeah. What are the tips and tricks for those fe <laughs> folks out there like myself? Kendall does slide into DMs, huh? Aren't you verified? <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you verified on Instagram? Okay, easy now. Don't you yeah. have to check? Dude. You do. Dude. I tell you, that does everything. Dude, dude. Here we go. <laughs> That's a You did some research. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I feel like if you're a guy, you're in the DMs, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I feel like you're, yeah. you, can't, you can't not be. I'm going to slide uh, up. Story. I'm not, I would Snapchat, never like yeah. just straight up. Or go on, yeah, on yeah, Instagram yeah. message. I'm not gonna yeah. just people do that follow you sure. and then be like, hey, like you know, what I'm, yeah, I'm something not slick. That. Yeah, it it's like if I it. see if I see a picture, I'm like, okay, like what's happening, like you know, like whatever, mm -hmm. whatever it may be. But I got, I got some tips and tricks. I can't throw them out there for everybody. You know, what I'm saying? Yeah, it's selfish. Got to got to keep it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> tuck, yeah. Tucked away. <laughs> talk, we're gonna talk. What are some of your guys' hobbies outside of basketball? Ooh. What are some things you guys like to do outside? I've been fishing a little bit lately. Really? Yeah. My guy, Scotty, he's a big fisherman. Yeah. Um, I've been doing a little bit of that. Um, golf. You golf. Golfer, we yeah. love golf. Mm. Play golf all the time. Dude, like, that's like our summer routine. You best. work out in the morning. Yeah. Next summer, golf. I need to do it because I don't know how we ended up not golfing. I know. I don't know yeah. how we didn't golf. <laughs> and surfing. That's a big one that I picked up this mm. year. I love surfing, bro. Dude. I don't want to see, I see you like, do that, though, because you're, like, almost seven feet tall. So it's, like, seeing you do that is... We were just at the funny. lake last week, bro. Yeah. Bro, and yeah, this is... It's, so like, <laughs> 40 fucking degrees outside. It's cold. The water's obviously cold, too. Yeah. On and flathead, this, too. Yeah, on flathead. Yeah. And this guy's, like, I'm still going to go surf. And it's just cold as hell. Gets off and... You know, this doesn't even get wet, doesn't yeah. even get down in the water, nothing. Just right off the boat, gets in there, does his thing, comes back, and we call it a day. Like, and you didn't get wet, no. yeah. But Damn. like I said, it was like 40, to 40 something degrees, yeah. 50 something, you know what I'm saying? It's cold as shit. Like, you must love it if you're gonna yeah. go do that, you know. That's so, I, I definitely know he loves it's to fun. do that. Well, and I like grew up skiing and stuff, which I haven't yeah. done in years, mm -hmm. but I feel like all that kind of like feeds into each other. Yeah. I, don't know. Yeah. I think it's a lot of fun though, it is yeah. Fun, yeah. I just like being outdoors man yeah. like whether it's skiing whether it's golfing whether it's hiking going to the lake whatever it may be like mm -hmm. i like everything that involves being outdoors like yeah because i don't know for me it's at the same time another thing that like helps me like just get away like help relax and all that type of stuff and like just uh re relieve some of like the mental stress that's always going yeah. on so like being out in nature like for me is like a thing that i i've always enjoyed but another thing i want to talk about dude is that jet ski video <laughs> throwing that beer oh, <laughs> that is bro, you should have submitted that to like bar <laughs> store and bro like I, maybe yeah, i'm gonna run that video could, again you still could, could. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what a throw but what a catch yes. what a catch one he like got yeah Full speed. And too. he was moving too. Oh yeah. my! We're, we're, we're on the boat. He like, literally went. He went. I was like, "Do you want me to throw it to you? Like, <laughs> yeah. are you gonna come up back up to the boat?" He's like, yeah. and then he just took off on the side of the boat. Dude, first take. Everybody on the boat. Uh -huh. yeah, first the, try. The boat, first like, try. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just going crazy yeah. snappy it was it was dope shout out tyler doby Ty dope tyler the man <laughs> last one what does the future hold for you guys what's uh what are the the goals moving forward 
Where will we see you guys end up? Um, what do you guys want to do? I think mine for the next two years is a couple more championships for sure. Oh, yeah, because you got that COVID years. Oh, yeah. yeah. Got an extra got, one. Got to. Um, I think that's like right now, like short term, those are obviously like the two main mm-hmm. ones. And then whatever comes after that, we'll deal with it when yeah. it comes. Um, <laughs> for me, just hopefully keep staying healthy because. Uh, that's what my body requires like for me to be able to keep playing professionally and so uh and and like with that is just like keep keep evolving keep with my game and everything keep yeah. developing and uh just just keep moving forward with, with my career and seeing where that takes me uh whether that's playing for 10 more years or five more whatever it may be you know like just just hopefully i can stay healthy and make that happen yeah. still because that's what I'm trying to keep doing is just hooping, man. Would you want to transition to, like, the G League and stuff? Is that, like, a main so, end up in that <laughs> way? Or? I was just talking to him about this today. Like, <laughs> I've, I've had my agents talking to me about, like, oh, like, there's G League teams that want you and all this type of stuff. And it's just, like, the G League and a lot of people, unless you're, like, in it, don't understand it. But, like, it's, like, so wishy-washy with, like, if you're actually going to get an opportunity to advance from there. Because, like, the G League is, yeah. like, a pretty much tryout to try to make it to an NBA team, mm-hmm. essentially. But, like, a lot of the time, they're going to only have their really, like, their, like, draft picks getting the looks. They're yeah. going to have their guys that are already, like, really um, on the team. But, like, they th- – so they're called two-way players. Yeah. So they play on the NBA team and, and they play on the G League. So, like, yeah. it's, like – it's just wishy washy, but for me, like I'm, I'm so like happy uh, with being in Europe and everything. That's so cool. Um, one thing I've always wanted to do is travel, mm-hmm. and so uh, me being able to play in Europe, get paid for it, and then play basketball on top of it, it's like yeah, that's a dream. It's not, it's not, <laughs> not a bad life right Are they now. Opening so. up more in Europe too. Yeah, right now it is. So that's hopefully, so hopefully it's a lot better than last year because, like I said, it was like pretty much a lockdown last year, yeah. but. Um, for the most part, that yeah, I'm I'm cool off of the whole G League situation yeah. right now. So, can you be on an Olympic team in Europe or Africa? Like, are you eligible to? Well, yeah. So, for my national team, like we we had all the Olympic qualifiers mm-hmm. that we had to go to and all that type of stuff. We had Mozambique. Mozambique. Shout, shout out Mozambique. <laughs> Such a cool. Yeah. Good yeah. Good. yeah. Uh, <laughs> Mozambique is my país, eh? Okay. <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah, so there there is opportunities to go to the Olympics and all that type of stuff, but it's just like obviously a qualifiers, and then you have to obviously have other players on your team that are capable of making that happen. Yeah. So um, hopefully we can develop some of that talent in Mozambique and everything and uh, make it there one day. That's obviously like one of the biggest goals. And then another thing that's going on right now is called the Afro Basket, and it's like the biggest thing for national teams besides uh, – olympics so yeah. so that's another another goal is just make that happen so Keep work, going, working towards bro. that man yeah that's just, just hopefully, hopefully make it happen i can't wait to see where you guys end up yes, uh sir. last one before we close this out who do you want to call out who should come on the podcast next who do you guys want mm. who who should come on mm. uh in in person or like either or in person or you should online. try to get trace tingle he's another montana boy Played oh, at Oregon, Oregon State. State. Yeah, he's from Missoula and everything. Okay, I think you should. Cut. I'm, I'm calling him out. You should okay. try to get him on okay, the podcast. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay. Appreciate you guys that. coming on. It's 10.55 p.m. The fact that you Damn. guys are doing this, I appreciate it. It's 11 on hey, a man. Wednesday. I had to make it happen for you. Like, I told you, it's, it's, a, it's a privilege for us to be here, man. So Jeez, thank bro. you. Like, subscribe. Yes, sir. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Happen with the group. Yes. Got to. Got to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See you guys. Peace. All right.